All right, to write an inequality that represents a shaded region, what we're going to do is use y equals mx plus b form of an equation. All right, now with an inequality, we're going to use an inequality symbol instead of an equal to sign. Now, if the shaded region is below your line, you're going to use a less than sign. So your form is going to be y is less than. The next thing we're going to do is determine what the slope is of our line. So we're just going to pick some points that are easy to identify on our line and see what the rise is and what the run is. And we can see that we have a rise of positive one and a run of three, which means the slope is one third. So y is less than one third x and then b is the y-intercept. And we can see that our line crosses the y-axis at positive three. So we write plus three. So this is the equation or inequality that represents the shaded region shown on the graph. Now what that means is, is we can take any point in the shaded region, plug in the coordinates into the x and y variables of our inequality, and we should come up with a true statement. For example, let us pick this right here, which is a point of positive six and positive three. So what we're gonna do is substitute three in for the y value and see if three is less than one third of our corresponding x, which is six. So we're gonna multiply one third times six and then add three. Three is less than one third times six over one would be two. And two plus three is five. And we can see that three is in fact less than five. So we could do that with any point in the shaded region and we would come up with a true statement. We should also notice that our line is a dotted line. That just means that you are not allowed to use any of the points located directly on that line. None of those points would be a possible solution. If you were to plug in an X and Y value of any one of these points on the line into this inequality, you would come up with a false statement because you would get something on this side that is equal to something on this side. But notice our inequality says that y has to be less than. Now, if this were a less than or equal to symbol, then our line would be a solid line, meaning you could include any of the points located directly on that line.